Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Today I'm going to be doing a, uh, let's call it torch transposition. We can do a trick uh, that's a transposition with a torch and a pack of cards. Now I actually created this on the creativity sessions. Uh, if you go on to YouTube, look up the creativity sessions playlist. Uh, it's on there. If you want to learn how to do this, it's on there. Uh, but Jack's not seen it. I'm going to perform it to you. How you doing, Jack? I heard the word torch and I get nervous. I don't worry about it. It's all good. How you doing, man? You okay? Oh, we're still now. Well, there's a couple of things that we need for this. The first thing is a deck of cards. Yeah. Now, when you think of a magician, you think of a pack of cards. But traditionally, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a magician? Dynamo. Dynamo. No, the sort of thing that a magician would carry with them. Oh, I want. A magic wand, right? For years, the magic wand has been symbolic of the magician's power. Yeah. The thing is, and what a lot of people don't realise, is uh, magic wands are a little bit old hat now. A lot of people don't use magic wands. Just like with everything in, in life, magic has evolved, it's progressed. And now, instead of magic wands, most magicians carry a magic torch. This is concerning. Now this, Jack, is a magic torch. This is the source of my power. You know, like in the olden days, a magician would wave a wand over his hand to make a ball disappear and appear underneath the cup. Yeah. These days, all I have to do is turn the torch on, shine the light at whatever I want to make uh, magic happen to, and magic will happen. Right. Would you like me to show you? In fact, Jack, you are going to be in charge of the torch. You can have my power temporarily. You don't get it forever. I need it back. But when you press the button... Magic happens. Don't press the button until I tell you to, Jack. Okay. So, as well as the torch, we have a pack of 52 playing cards. Say it with me, Jack. 52 cards. 52 possibilities. Thank you very much. We should have that printed as a t-shirt. Now, we're going to start off, Chuck, by having you pick a card. It doesn't matter whether I see it. I'm allowed to see it. So as I go through, just say stop. Stop. There, are you sure? <clears throat> yep. You can change your mind if you want to. Are you happy with that one? We've got the five of hearts. That's a good card, Jack. We're going to put the five of hearts... Right there, is that okay? Yeah. Now, Jack, we're going to do this again. So as I cut through the cards like this, anytime you want to, just say stop. stop. I was just about to drop that one down. Do you want that one down? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. So as well as the five of hearts, we've got this one here as well, the queen of clubs. That's actually quite cool because the queen and the five, they contrast with each other quite nicely. You've got to keep one eye on the five, keep one eye on the queen, keep one eye on me. You're going to need an extra eye. I think I should go over. You can share. Now watch this, this is where the magic would happen. This is normally when a magician would pull out a magic wand, wave it over, but we're going to use the torch. Do me a favour, Jack, press the button, shine the torch over that card, shine the torch right there over the queen, switch the torch off, too much magic, we don't want it. If I just take that queen after you've shined the light on it and rub it, it turns into the what? five, the queen's over there, they change places. Uh, da, da, da. It's, it's to do with the torch that you're holding in your hand, Jack, that's how it happens. Now, I'm going to do it again for you because you might have missed it, right? There's a rule in magic, never repeat a trick. I'm going to do it again, but this time you know exactly what's going to happen. Jack, we've got a five, we've got a queen. Yeah. I'm going to mix them up so you don't know which one's where. We can mix them up like this, okay? Give them a really good mix-up. And what I want you to do is you're going to put your hand down on one of those cards. It's up to you which one. That one right there. Yeah. You've still got the torch in the other hand, right? So I'll take this card, the one you elected not to use, the queen, which means you've got the five. Take the torch, switch it on, Jack. Shine the torch at the queen. Very good. Now at your hand, Jack. Don't do it too long. You might turn into a frog. That's it. Switch it off. All I have to do is just wait a second. Watch the queen. One, two, three. That's when it changes again, you see. Now there's the five. You're not going to believe this, Jack. Turn it over. Have a look underneath your hand. You've got it's the queen. The queen. You see, that's what I mean. Now people turn around to me and they say, Craig, because that's, that's my name. Queen. They say, Craig, uh, what happens? I mean, obviously you were using the torch to, uh, I'm giving the torch back for a second, let me explain. Uh, people say, well, you were using the torch and you were shining it over two cards and that made the two cards change places. What happens if I just use one of those cards? Well, I'll show you, Jack. We'll get rid of the queen. We'll just use the five that you chose. And Jack, what I want you to do, we're going to put the deck away. Can you take me, do me a favor and take that five and fold it face inwards exactly in half? Neatness counts. That would be amazeballs. If you could do that, that would be fantastic. That's great. And then, uh, and then when you've done that, open it up. And I also want you to fold it lengthways. You can open it up and fold it that way as well, if that's okay. Yeah. That's great. And remember, you could have picked any card you wanted to, didn't you? Yeah. So by now taking it and folding it again, uh, and again, you're going to have folded that card, in essence, into quarters. 
Now, Jack, when you shine a light on just one card, the most amazing thing happens ever, but only if you've got a magic torch. Jack, pick up the torch for me if you can, please. That'd be great. Don't switch it on until I say, remember, you switch it on too early, magic will happen. It's no good. Watch this. This is going to be incredible. Jack, shine the light on the hand. There you go. Now, shine. No, Jack, shine the light on the hand. Jack, shine the light I'm on trying. the hand. No, Jack, shine the light at the hand. The battery's dead. No, it was working a second. Shine the light at the torch. I'm trying. Is it not working? No. Oh, no. I told you earlier, don't shine the light too long. Do you know why? Trying to turn the batteries. Crazy stuff happens. Do you know what's happened to your five, Jack? It's still do you know what's happened to the five of hearts when you do that, Jack? It's still there. Well, it breaks the torch. Oh, no. It breaks the magic torch. Do you know what happens when you break the magic torch, Jack? The universe implodes? No. The five of hearts turns into some batteries, Jack. What? What? And the reason the Five of Tarts turns into some batteries is because these were the batteries that made the magic torch work. Jack, at the end, you can see where you can unscrew to get to the batteries. Unscrew it. There you go. What's inside there now instead of the batteries, Jack? Have a look. What the fuck? Is that a card? That is a card. What was your card again, Jack? Five of Hearts. Just like you folded it. Unfold it, Jack. What the actual living... <laughs> that... Is your five of hearts, and that's that's how magic torch works, Jack. I don't get it, but you don't need to get it. There's nothing to get. That's it. You get a magic torch. Magic happens. That's all you need to know. There you go. What? I have no idea. So there you go, guys. That's uh, that's um, that's that's. Let's call it the magic torch. Actually, I think that's a better name for it. Let's call it the magic torch. Uh, you want to learn how to do that? It's on the creativity sessions from this week. So go check out the creativity sessions. Don't forget, you want to learn more video, uh, more tricks like this. Like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget you want to learn a million tricks like this then go to the net tricks www.thenettricks.com i'll be back again soon thank you so much for watching my name's craig from magic tv